Well, hey, y'all, are this afternoon. This is your buddy George Jones over here at our Burger and Gun Range with my next installment on A. Let's try and dispel a very common myth. And the myth is 22 Magnum Rimfire Magnum ammunition in full metal jacket will penetrate a police body armor vest. So right now, sitting down there on the range at about six yards is a threat level 2A standard police uh, vest. Now it's not mine, okay? It is a new vest, just uh, we've never been able to sell it at Apache Armory or Apache Armaments because it's too small. You know, it's too small even for the smallest female officer. So, you know, we've decided to take it out and do some ballistics testing with it. Our test bed to dispel this myth is the 992 Taurus Tracker with a 22 Magnum cylinder in it. And our ammunition is Winchester Super X. 42 grain full metal jacket. Full metal jacket. Not copper plated, but jacket and ammunition. So, with that in mind, I'm going to put three into that vest, into the front panel, and see if we can shoot through the front panel and the um, heavy gauge plastic barrel. So, here we go. Let's give it a tryization. And we'll go single action. Well, it bounced it. Something happened. All right. Put that back at the old M4 pilot's holster. There we go. All right. I'll go down there and get it, and we'll look at it. <sighs> it appears that there is impacts on the barrel, but no penetrations. Okay, let's go up there and look at our vest. And there are impacts on it. But on the back side, there doesn't appear to be any penetrations. Now this is a penetration from a previous test, 22 TCM. Here, hold the camera up there. So, it is in fact a Gauss threat level 2A. We have one, two, three, maybe, I can feel three bullets in it. Yeah, they're in there. They're all in there. I can feel all three of the 22 Magnum bullets in it. So, that myth is dispelled, buddy. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We got a hand over the thing here. That myth is dispelled. Yeah, 22 Magnum, full metal jacket from a handgun, will not penetrate at least this example of threat level 2A. All right, then. Like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. We'll see y'all when we see you. Well, how y'all are? This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Kitchen Range. Uh, I wanted to give you a little short primer on how to open a can with a Swiss Army knife. Now, recently we talked about different can openers and how they work and, and, and like that and how not to kill yourself with them. So, I'm making these little series of videos that I'm going to put together to show you how to use these various can openers so you can get a can open in the field. This is the Swiss Army knife version. Okay, this is a push to cut arrangement. So how this guy works is you have the cutter here. And you also have your screwdriver right there on the end. 
okay so how this guy works is and this is your bottle opener so you catch the lip of the the bead of the can in there push it down like that now the next thing is you have to push that guy forward see and you work it around there like this going forward now the main thing here is to keep it don't be holding it like this because if you slip that cutter's sharp it's going to slice that hand open and you're going to be in big trouble and if you're out in the field with a two inch split on the end of your finger you're in trouble okay so hold it down here at the bottom and work it work it around there and this is how it works it is not the most efficient can opener that was ever designed. As a matter of fact, I think the Swiss Army design is very inefficient and it's dangerous. But if you handle it right, okay, if you handle it correctly, the main thing is you have to remember to put pressure on the side to keep your lip hook down here on the bead of the can okay but you can work it around through there and eventually get to where or you can get it open and that's soup all right then hang around we're going to be talking about the rest of the different kinds of can openers along the lines all right then, on to the next one. Turn that thing.